Hey everyone, today I'm going to be opening up this really cool glow-in-the-dark Zunaceratops from Beasts of the Mesozoic. This is the same company that made the Velociraptor series, uh, or Raptor series, uh, like maybe a year ago or so. And next they're going to come out with a, a set that has like Tyrannosaurus and stuff like that in it. But this is from the Ceratopsian series. There's a couple in this glow-in-the-dark set. There's an exclusive ToyPizza.com red one. But I personally like green better, so I chose this one. This is from creativebeast.com. That's the website of the guy who made these and sculpted them and all that. So there they are together. I kind of want the red one, though, because he's. A, I think red is probably a little bit more realistic color for these guys. And it's exclusive, so that's really cool. Um, there's a barcode, but I don't think this is sold anywhere where you can check a barcode, probably. Um, here's some information right here. David Silva, that's the, the sculptor, and he, uh, I guess, owns the company. And this is for ages 15 plus. This is for, um, you know, old, older teenagers or adult collectors, not for um, kids that tear stuff up, because it's not super, super durable, probably. It's just made, you know, to be scientifically realistic and, uh, and all that. Okay, so let's... Cut this open. There's a couple of stickers. Here's one right here. It's a little circle, circle sticker. You just cut. You need to cut one on one side. You can leave the other side closed. Let's see how it is packaged. Uh, also, you can see it, it's. I think the tail comes separately. There it is, right there. Okay. There's a nice background art on this, it looks like. Let's see what that is. It's a nice uh, volcano and like a sunset or it might, that's probably not a sunset. It's like just uh, the sun, uh, the sunlight is going away because of all, the, all the ashes in the sky and that's not good but hopefully this dinosaur is still okay after all that. Okay, it has some papers. What is this? I don't remember all these paper things coming from coming with the uh, Velociraptor ones. I open, I only opened one of those up. Okay, we have a white piece of paper. What is this? Ceratopsian tail assembly. Dip tail hole in hot water or heat with a hair dryer for 20 seconds. Attach the tail to the ball joint on the figure. Hot water! I didn't know this was going to be complicated. Don't force them. Well, that's not my style. Sorry. I'm gonna force it. Alright, it comes with a collector's card. This is nice. It's just like a satin finish with rounded edges like a like a like a trading card. Oh, two-sided. Okay, here's the red one. Here's the green one. Very cool. Zunoceratops on both sides. That, that's really nice. I like that. Okay, big paper. Fold it up. Uh let's see. Ooh. Oh, it's all the other ones. Let's put them over here. Okay, oh, it's, it's, it's ones from both series. Okay, here's... Let's see, here's a couple of uh, Ceratopsians right here. And then, uh, I guess they, they figure you probably already know about this series because you bought one. But then they're like, oh, we also have this other series. Look at all these uh, Velociraptor. And, you know, they're not all Velociraptors there, but they're in, in the family. So there's those, and then there's some more. Oh, here, here's the Triceratops. Okay, and on the other side, here's some artwork. Welcome to Pangea Island. What? Is that like Jurassic Park? Crow Mega's chamber, home to the leader of the of, of Pangea Island. Okay. Um, there's that one. What is going on here? Microorganisms in the water give dinosaurs their glow. Oh! So it's like mutants. What is this? Probably the island with the whole Knights of the Slice toy line. I'm guessing maybe ToyPizza.com sells these. I have no idea. I've never seen these before until just now. I don't know. What, I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm guessing they're little glow in the dark toys you can get. If they are, that's pretty cool. But I don't have those. I don't have that one. So I'm not gonna pay attention to that anymore. Here is the green one from 
creativebeast.com. It's got to... Uh, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to cut those. It's got the kind. They're not... They're not really stretchy, I don't think. They're a little bit, but I'm just, I'm just gonna cut them. Okay, we got that one right there. Yeah. Ouch! Don't ever cut, don't cut towards yourself, cut away from yourself. Cut that one right there. Yeah. Let's see, cut this one right here. And this one right here. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, we got have the dinosaur right here. And the tail. Let's get rid of this. Okay, put that right there for a second. Okay. So am I going to do this with hot water or am I going to force it? Hmm. I think I might have to uh, do the hot water thing. Not very happy about that though. Not very happy about having to go stop what I'm doing and get some hot water. Let's try it one more time. Urgh. Yeah, okay. So let's get some hot water. Alright, I don't know how hot they want the water, but this is microwave for about three minutes. And it took me about 30 seconds to get here, so it says hold the tail hole in the water. So I'm going to try to fill up the hole so it's not air in there, and then I'm going to dip it a little bit. Alright, so let's see, how long should I hold this in here? Let's see, 20 seconds. Well, that's a hair dryer, wait. Dip the, hole. Dip the tail hole in hot water or heat with a hair dryer for 20 seconds. I guess either or both is 20 seconds. I'm not counting, but I'll just estimate. All right, and then uh, attach the tail to the ball joint on the figure. All right, it's probably been almost 20 seconds. Swirl it around a little bit. Okay, and then here we have this. Okay, so what's hard is this part moves, so you might be Try and push on it in the middle, but then it like goes to the side. But uh, I'll try to keep it in the middle. Alright, so let's see. Move this out of the way. Ouch, it's hot. Okay, that's probably be 20 seconds, I think. It's probably going to go in real easy now. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's zero problems. Just, it just goes right in and, and it, it easily comes out. All right, so that was easy. Now there's water in there and that, that, that'll, I guess that'll dry out. All right, let's move this so I won't spill it. All righty, let's take a look at the Zunaceratops. It has a lot of articulation points. I think one of the boxes said 20 points, but that was a different dinosaur. I don't know if they all have 20 points or not. It's 118 scale. I don't think I said that earlier. Um, let's see. Zunoceratops will glow in the dark after being exposed to light. I didn't, yeah, I did, I did say it was glowing dark because it's, it's on the box. But, uh, all right, we're going to check out the posability first, and then later I will put it in light. Okay, like right now it's not going to glow because I have this LED light. It's exactly like this one. And this light does not affect it, I don't think. It, I mean, it's already in this, this light. And there's this light also, and you can see it. Oh, actually, it is glowing. <laughs> but um, I'm going to put it out in the sunlight later. Um, okay, so first of all, we have this big, huge waist articulation. There is a neck. Let's see. It, it, it seems to be... There's a ball joint right here, and that can go all the way around. There is another joint on the bottom of the neck. It can move from side to side, up and down, very, yeah, actually a decent amount. Um, and that can go all the way around. Okay, um, let's see, the mouth opens and closes. 
I think. A little bit. Okay. The horns are just uh, attached. They wouldn't have any reason to move anyways. Okay, so we get that one, we get that one, we get that one. Uh, let's go down the rest of the body. The tail, of course, is a ball joint because you could see it before. Um, the tail is one piece. The hips have just a, a single action spinning. And they're both like that. The front is also like a single action type of spinning joint. They're both like that. I'm filming this later. I just noticed that the shoulder joints do go in and out. Uh, I said they just spin around earlier, but that is not true. They do move, have more mobility. The legs just barely move, but uh, it's, I don't think it's enough to um, like make a big deal out of. The knees... Let's see... trying to get the knees to bend. All right, this is how far straight they go. I'm trying to bend it the other way though. Um, I guess it just doesn't go very much. It goes from there to there. That's about it, I think. Check the other one. Okay, so it goes from that much to that much. Yeah. And you can you can kind of see the joints inside a little bit. Okay, here we have kind of a um, what is that an ankle? I don't know. Like uh, animal anatomy is different than the human, so it might not look like an ankle, but I think it is. And then I think this this would be like a toe joint, actually. Maybe I don't know. I forget. That's how birds are. Uh, the, the foot goes all the way around, and it swivels. It's like a, a very small ball joint. And this one, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this to move. I mean, obviously you could see a joint there, but okay, it goes that much. And that much. So a little bit. It's got a, it's a little bit of snap to it. Alright, on this one, the front. It's kind of the same. Oh, that one goes pretty far. And then the foot is the same. You can see a ball joint in there. It, it can swivel. And go all the way around. Same on the other side. Let's see. It bends pretty far. Farther than the back one, and back, and then of course the uh, little foot there goes all the way around and swivels and stuff. All right, I think I think that's all the articulation. I think I got it all. All right, so I'm going to go put this out in the sunlight for a little while to get it maximum glowiness. All right, are you ready for this? Here it goes. This has been outside for like, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes. It's glowing. Let's see. Okay, so there's paint on the top and that's why it's darker on the top, but it's supposed to like make it, give it a more realistic look. Um, okay, the, the bottom glows really good. There's holes. No, the, those are the joints inside. The joints don't glow. They should have made the, 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 the ball joints and stuff out of glow-in-the-dark material because you can see them, but it's almost like a skeleton. That would be cool. Oh, they should have made a skeleton inside here. That would be super awesome, but that's a lot of work. All right, so let's see. Here is the face. Okay, um, I'm, I'm trying to see how long it glows for after it's been out in the sun with no other light. So I'm just going to um, like hold it a little bit and talk about it until it starts to get dark, and then I'll... Uh, Give it some more light. Okay, it's, it's starting to get a little bit less less bright right now. But um, anyways, here 
you can you can just barely see it now. All right, so let's let's try adding some lights. Let's see. Woo! Okay, this is like a I don't know what kind of flashlight this is, but um, let's see. If you can see it here. Oh, let's turn the light. Okay, so this is a. I don't know what this is, but uh, there it is. It's like that. And it, it this this just does a really good job of making it glow and stuff. So let me get all the parts. And get. And then let's turn off the lights again. You ready? Hey! Um, I kind of think the flashlight works better than the. Uh, um, the sun kind of because it's more convenient and it's super bright and you don't have to like um, Waste any time trying to get it uh, from outside to inside uh, of your house. It works really good Let's see. Let's give it some more lights. Oh I wanted to try something. Let me let me wait till it gets a little bit darker. Oh, okay, let me start stop giving it light um, Okay, so you can see it lights up the table a little bit which is cool. All right. Um, so once again, you can uh, do a lot of cool poses with it. It's like laying down, and uh, it's very cool. Uh, the most of the plastic is very slightly bendable. Like I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm I'm squeezing the uh, this part right here, and it. It has just a little bit of flex to it, but it's not, I wouldn't call it soft. And it goes back to the, the shape. So this is a great toy. I recommend it. Um, let's see, what did I want to do? I wanted to, I want to put my fingers like this. And then I'm going to take the flashlights. Let's see if I can do a cool picture here. Not a cool picture, but like a pattern. Let's see if this works. Do, do, do. Come on, please work. Please be cool as I imagine it will be. You ready? Okay, here we go. Come on, work, 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 work. Be cool. Ah, oh, nah. I wonder if you could do it. I guess like it, it it just glows like all on the inside when you're lighting it up. It just lights up everything on the inside and uh, you can't really like spot glow anywhere. Like I can't you can't make the stomach dark because when you're lighting up the chest the light goes all inside the dinosaur and lights up where your finger is. Yeah, it's still it's still pretty light, but this is this is really cool. You can have a lot of fun with this. Glow in the dark stuff is awesome. And uh, check it out on their websites if you could find it. Uh, I don't know if they still have them. They probably do. Uh, the red one might be a little bit harder to get because it's exclusive, and it's from like a, a different company. But. Uh, Check them out. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Um, see you later. Bye.